Grade 12s, we are going to look at no, uh, November 2017, Paper 1, Question 9.2. It is a current electricity question, and um, the questions are pretty straightforward, but there are some important basics that you need to know, so it's a good one to go through. Uh, the circuit below consists of three resistors, M, N, and T, a battery with an EMF, which is not given, and an internal resistance of 0, 0,9 ohms. So there's M, N and T, they are in series with each other. This is your battery, your EMF isn't given, and that is your internal resistance of the battery. They tell you the effective resistance between points A and B in the circuit is 6 ohms. So from A to B we have a resistance of 6 ohms. So I said R of M plus R of N equals 6 ohms. They are in series with each other, so when you add up their resistances, you will get 6 ohms. They also tell you that the resistance of resistor T is 1,5 ohms. It's always a good idea to write all the information in on your sketch when you have your exam paper. Then they tell you below the sketch, when switch S is closed, when it's closed, a high resistance voltmeter V1 across A and B reads 5 volts. So when this switch is closed, current will start to flow in your circuit, so V1 reads 5 volts. So 5 volts is the potential difference between points A and B. I just want to go through something very quickly before we answer the questions. This EMF is divided up between 4 resistors. So this is volts. This voltage is divided up in four places. You have lost volts due to the current flowing through your battery. You have some of the volts of your battery used here to get charges through this resistor. Some of the volts are used there and some of the volts are used there. We know that the sum of these two voltages is um, 5 volts. Okay, we're going to look at the first question, 9.2.1. The current, calculate the current delivered by the battery. So we don't have enough information of the battery to be able to work through the current flowing through the battery. So you must look at the information given and go and see where do you have enough information. We have enough information between A and B. We have the resistance, 6 for ohms between with M plus N's resistance, and we have the volts, V1. So we're going to use the points between A and B. So let me just zoom out. Okay. Right. So for 921, calculating the current delivered by the battery, that is the current in the entire circuit. This is a series circuit. There's no splitting up of current. So from this equation, which is on your data sheet, we can say that I is V over R. We are only working between A and B now, which is the total current flowing th through between A and B. The voltage is 5, the resistance is 6, so you get an answer of 0, 0.8333, which if you round off is 0, 0.83. Keep this value on your calculator for further calculations. Now 9.2.2, calculate the EMF of the battery. <coughs> in this one, I'm just going to move this up. Right, there are two ways of working this one out. I'm going to do the left-hand side one first. This is an equation that you guys have on your data sheets. We have the current. R is your total resistance in your circuit. It is M's resistance plus N plus T, that's the external resistance, and this is your internal resistance. So it's 6 for M and N together, T's resistance is 1.5, and 0, 0,9 is your internal resistance. Then also, you can use this method, where your EMF is the sum of the voltages in your external circuit plus the lost volts. So your external volts, we can call that V-terminal or V-load or V-external, plus your internal voltage, your volts that are lost. So I've taken V-external has got two parts. It's the volts across AB and the volts across T. Those two together give you the external volts plus your lost volts. So the volts be between A and B is 5 volts. 
I calculate the volts across uh, T because I have V is equal to I times R for T. And then your internal volts, your last volts, is I times little r. When you add these up, you get 7 volts. And the same as this value over here. You might get 6,99 something if you use the rounded off value for your current strength. Now in 9.2.3, they say that the voltmeter V2, the voltage across M, is 2,5 volts. So we had this was 5 volts, and now they tell you that this is 2,5 volts. All right, when the switch is closed. In 9.2.3, write down the resistance of N, no calculations are required, and give a reason for your answer. So if this total voltage is 5 volts, and this voltage is 2,5 volts, then surely the voltage across N must also be 2,5 volts. So they have the same voltage across them, so they must be exactly the same resistance. The total resistance was 6 ohms, so they must both be 3 ohms. I've written the answer out for you guys. There we go. Rn must be 3 ohms. That is your 2 mark answer. The reason V1 is 5 volts, the V2 reading is 2,5, therefore the volts across N is 2,5. The resistors are in series, they have the same voltage across them, therefore they must have the same resistance. I've added an extra question to question 9.2. Switch S is closed, resistor T is removed from the circuit, and the wires are reconnected. So this resistor has been removed completely. The question is, how are the lost volts affected? Do the lost volts remain the same? Will they decrease or will the lost volts increase? So when you get a question like this, do not give the answer straight away. Remain the same, increase or decrease. Work through the explanation so that you do not guess the answer. You have to be able to reason it out. A question like this could count about four marks. So this is the reasoning behind this question. If RT is removed, your external resistance will decrease because RT was in series with resistors M and N. So if you remove RT, your total resistance is going to decrease. Let me just put that back. If you remove this resistor, your total resistance in your circuit will decrease. Therefore, your total current will increase. So write that down, you will get a mark for each of these statements. If RT is removed, the external resistance will decrease, therefore your total current strength I in the circuit will increase. You have to say that EMF and little r remain constant. The reason is because they are affected by your battery. Your battery has not changed in this question. All we did was remove resistor T. So you have to say that EMF and little r remain constant. Then we go to this equation, which is on your data sheet. Multiply the brackets out so that we can see what each term stands for. I times little r is your lost volts. I times big R is your voltage across your external circuit. We will call this V terminal or V load or V external. The sum of these two values give you the EMF. And remember, EMF is constant. Little r is constant. But we've established in this example that the current strength will increase. So if little r is constant and the current strength increases, sorry, your lost volts will increase. Therefore, lost volts will increase. Lost volts does whatever the current does. Because little r is constant, and if current increases, lost volts will increase. If current decreases, lost volts will decrease.